this week's video everyone. Um, as you can see, I'm currently in the hidden room at the abandoned convent. Um, I wanted to start this week's video off with showing a bit more detail of the room that we discovered, um, highlighting the wallpaper, any artwork or symbolism that is currently in the room, and you know, just having a general overall more look at the room. So I brought a really powerful light with me. So we turn this on now, and then together we'll discover this room a little bit more. Um, because there's some amazing wallpaper in here. Some of it is so beautiful. Okay, let's turn it on. Whoa. Right, now that's bright. So here we are. In the secret room. Um, I would say the room is slightly less than a meter wide. Actually, it gets wider the closer you go to the cupboard. Let's have a look at this engraving, the Sant family. So everyone in the comments, you're absolutely right. Mary, Joseph and baby Jesus. The first thing that I notice when I look at this panel of wallpaper is that it has gold. Look at all of this amazing gold. That is so nice. And then the same on this wallpaper as well. You see all the metallic gold. That is such a beautiful wallpaper. This blue wallpaper is so stunning. The colours are so nice. So there's no gold on this panel. This red paper is also really, really nice. And um, you've got more of a deep purple colour here. And then to the left of that, This panel here is also really, really nice um, with these sort of patterns here. It reminds me of um, chinoiserie paper. So this depicts the Sacred Heart. Um, I'm not sure what else its meaning is. You've got the Crown of Thorns. You've got an arrow to the heart. Um, I'm not sure what the writing means. So we're going to inspect this cupboard a little bit more. The wood looks like it's either oak or a sort of walnut, I'm not sure. The lock is very, very nice. What would you guys say the wood is? Is that an oak? Or is it something different? Okay. That's definitely a very, very old piece of furniture by just looking at the shelves. They are incredibly thick. Um, the construction is all dowels. It's in great condition. Um, let me turn on this little light quickly. We'll have a look inside. Okay. There's some planks there. That goes directly to the floor. Yeah, it's a beautiful piece of furniture. There's no writing or anything. So, it was generally just for storage. Let's close it up. There we go. Let's make our way out. What an incredible find, everyone. Um, I still can't believe we found it, me and Dad. Um, but I want to preserve this because it is a piece of history. Also, the panels of wallpaper, wouldn't it be amazing to have those reproduced along with the backstory behind how they were discovered and where they were discovered? Um, you know, imagine if these walls could talk. The stories they would tell, wouldn't it be amazing?
Okay, so I'm in the back garden. Um, you've got the greenhouse just there, the modern extension, and this is the back door to the garden. Um, and Steve's been really, really busy. Let's go and see what he's been up to. Steve, any new discoveries this morning? Just a bottle of wine. Just a bottle of wine. Was blue, it empty? Blue, blue none. It was <laughs> empty. Wow, look at this. So a little bit further and it's starting to open up a bit. Is that vines? What, what, what's that tree that's growing over there? It's a vine. A vine, yeah. Wow. They made their own wine. Oh wow, there's a proper opening in there. So once we get a bit further, yeah. 10 minutes. 10 minutes, yeah, and we'll get through there, yeah. Okay. Apart from discovering a little bit of extra garden, Steve has found numerous bottles of beer and wine. Um, yeah. So someone's been in this garden and they've been enjoying themselves. <laughs> right, so what have you guys found? I didn't, Mo found this. What have you found, Mo? I read it to Mo. No, I found at first this uh, two year Oh right, so you found some sort of covers. That's just yeah. a slab. You want to watch out it's not a well. Yeah, that's not. <laughs> and then this could we be. Saw, we saw yeah. That. Wow. Alright then. Give it a go. What's underneath? It's gonna be incredibly heavy. Yeah. That's it, pretty foot, isn't it? Alright. Just we'll just watch out. Is it is it just a drain or? Yeah, yeah it's yeah. just a drain. Yeah, just a drain. Just a drain. <laughs> yeah, you want to be very careful with lowering that down now. Very slow. Very slow. And watch your fingers. One, two, three. Whee! There we go. Okay. Well, I'm glad it's not very deep. I'm glad it's not a drain. <laughs> So welcome to the bell tower everyone. Um, it's a little bit dusty up here, but it's in such good condition. It's such a shame when they deconsecrated the chapel that they took the bell with them. I imagine it hung just behind my head there on those hooks and it would have had a rope which led downstairs, possibly into the chapel itself. You can hear the road from here because you've got these sort of vents but it's an amazing space and it's in such good condition. There's no woodworm, or at least it's very minimal, and there's no dry rot. It's in great condition. bell tower is an amazing piece of construction. While we're up here, I'll tell you what, we'll have a little bit of a look about because um, there's some really interesting pieces up here. You've got pieces of furniture, you've got pieces of oak. What's that on the floor? That looks like a piece of jewellery, doesn't it? Yeah. It's some brooch. And it looks like a pendant. Oh, there's more of it. <laughs> there's literally a bag of religious jewellery. Wow. That's amazing. What a find. There's loads of it here. Where's it all from? There's another brooch. Crucifix. 
Oh, stuff. Wow. That's amazing. Let me just put the light on it a bit more so we can all see it. So I wasn't expecting to say this, but we found a bit of treasure in the attic. <laughs> um, I'll take that all downstairs and we'll have a closer look at it. But in the meantime, we'll keep looking about because I'm sure there's some really interesting things to be found up here. The small turquoise bag is where I found the small bits of trinkets and jewelry. Um, can't see any more though. Yep. Let's carry on. See what else we can find. Wow, look at these beautiful old doors. Ah, there's a small box here. <laughs> it looks like an old cigar box. Doesn't it? Anyway, if we put the stuff we found into the box, I've got a pocket full of it. Oh, I dropped a bit. Okay, <laughs> look at these old brooches and things. Wow. Oh, right. These look like cufflinks. Um, first thing I've noticed is that they are hallmarked with, uh, that is the Tête d'Aigle, so that's an eagle's head, which means they are 18 karat gold. Um, so we found some gold. But the majority of it looks like um, religious trinkets or I don't know just uh, costume jewelry you've got loads of bits and bobs wow what an amazing find there's nothing here of particularly high value um, other than the two gold buttons or cufflinks I'm not even sure what they are um, but regardless, it's valuable to the history of the building because we found them here, so it's a great discovery. You wouldn't think that you're in the center of a town here. Um, it's actually really, really quiet inside the building, as well as inside the courtyard. I mean, you have the odd lorry going past and you can hear that, like now. That is actually a tractor. <laughs> but, um, it's such a, you know, a calming, quiet place. Right, I'm gonna show you guys something because we've started a little bit of work. Um, we're doing the first apartment. So I'll show you now. So this is one of the very first apartments that I sh I've shown on the channel. Um, it was yellow. Um, there wasn't a wall here. And this stud work and plasterboard, what well, wasn't done. Um, We've got eight inch insulation on all the exterior walls. New electrics going in, um, a new door. The same here, it's all been plasterboarded. Um, new electrics insulation. So yeah, this wall needs skimming now, that wall. Um, I'm going to change that door because it's really badly damaged and warped. There's no repairing it, unfortunately. Um, plus the glass above doesn't give you much privacy um, if people are in and out the communal bit because you've got the front door here, post boxes, um, and then the staircase, which leads up to two more apartments, which Sadie and Mo are currently renovating. Um, I'm changing the tiles on the floor. I'll show you in a minute what tiles we're going to put down. I'm having it all done. Every room is going to be the same um, because this floor doesn't match this floor and then 
You've got the kitchen and bathroom, which also doesn't match. <laughs> You've got this old lino, concrete, tiles. It's a bit of a mess. Um, we're redoing the bathroom as well. That all needs taking out. Um, you've got the kitchen. The kitchen's gonna start from here. We're gonna put a wall around that and a cupboard so you can't see the hot water tank. You can have a washing machine underneath it. That will all be hidden. Um, kitchen will start from here and it will go all the way around the corner with some cabinets and some nice spotlights. We're also changing these exterior doors for more modern ones, but they're gonna retain the same style. So it's gonna have lots of little squares. Um, one half will be glass, and the other half will be um, just paneled at the bottom. This is all the flooring for the apartment. It is travertine, it's natural stone, and it's quite a nice design. It's not just um, 60 by 40, they are actually, um, there's an actual pattern. So it's gonna be quite nice. As soon as that first apartment's finished, we'll be starting a really interesting project inside the convent itself. Um, but I'll explain about that when the time gets a little bit closer. So that's enough exploring for one day. I've got to go back to the chateau now and cut all the grass while the weather is so nice. So thank you everyone for watching this week's video and I'll see you next Sunday.